the day my son was born, he, he was born six weeks early, I had to have an emergency C-section, and a good friend of mine was at the hospital with me, and I asked her to call my children's father to call him and let him know that I was going into emergency surgery, and she called him so many times, he never answered the phone. And he showed up at the hospital 12 hours later, and he was like drunk and acting rude, and he kept kicking in my bed with his foot, and got in an argument with my roommate that was in a recovery room next to mine, and a bed next to mine, so security asked him to leave. I am a survivor. Can you imagine your firstborn? Just the trauma around finding out that your baby may have to be born early. Going into surgery, and I, I was in surgery by myself. Nobody was there because my family hadn't made it to the hospital yet. And my friend that came to the hospital was watching my stuff and was trying to get in touch with my children's father and talk to my family and try to get everything coordinated. So it was just me and the doctors. And the doctor said, you know, since since nobody's here with you, I'm going to give you the best C-section scar, like a Hollywood scar, is what you're going to see. And, you know, I didn't care about that because it wasn't like I wore bikinis and stuff, right? So, but when I had my daughter later on, the doctor that gave me a C-section with her, because they didn't want me to have, they said, they, it's better than not to have back-to-back C-sections, especially since my kids were so close in age. But when the doctor saw my previous scar, he was just like, who did your surgery? Like, your scar is beautiful. So apparently the doctor who said that was really true to his word. He gave me actually a beautiful scar. My scar is tiny, actually. I don't even know how, how I got two kids out of that little space, but I did. But it was just a little amazing that he was acting so rude. I think he was upset too because I named my son something different. I think he thought he was gonna be a junior, but I didn't. I didn't name him after him or after his born again name because, you know, that's what he prefer, to be called by his born again name. But the hospital was just, it was horrible actually. The way he behaved, it was, it was embarrassed. And my roommate, the lady that was in the recovery room with me the first night, the next morning after he was being rude to her and everything, she was just like, look, I'm not trying to scare you or anything, but I had a nightmare last night. And in my nightmare, he stabbed you and you died. And she was like, I don't know, I don't know you or anything. Hope you don't feel any kind of way with me telling you this, but you might want to make sure you get safe because God just told me to tell you that. And I was just like, damn, this lady don't even know me, you know? <sighs> My friends had come up to the hospital and when he came, they left because they felt uncomfortable at how he was acting. My aunt called the hospital and he answered the phone and he was just like, who's this? Now, my aunt don't play no games. <laughs> like, she real hardcore. I mean, they went at it on the phone. My aunt was just like, yo, don't let me ever see him, you know, because he was being so rude and nasty. And I just had a baby, you know? Like, damn. I remember him telling me, like, he didn't want to feel like he had to be obligated to me. I'm like, you don't who begged me to have this baby and everything and now the baby's here and you're making it seem like I'm twisting your arm. Like <laughs> It was supposed to be the happiest day of my life. Or one of the happiest days of my life. And it was in a sense that my my son was safe. Even though he was born early, he was safe and and he was pretty healthy besides just little minor things so that was a blessing but damn it wasn't the best day of my life it was actually one of my worst